very nice to look forward to another game, isn't it? It's been very stop start the last eight weeks, and it's you know it's nice to try and build stuff, but fundamentally, don't know if you're on the right course until you put it to the test of a game. So we're just really excited to get into a game. The, the fact that the Derby's put a spring in everyone's step this week, and um, you know there's a bit of edge because the Ospreys put a lot of points on us down there line the last season. We feel we owe them one. Yeah, we will. Obviously, playing at Rodney Parade's easy at the moment for us. You know, we get ourselves up for the game well, and uh, I think we've represented ourselves well at home. But we need to make sure we do it on the road. And like I said, they put a lot of points on us last year, and we need to make sure we avenge that. A lot of experience in the group helps, um, and we've got that this week most certainly. Um, also, you know, a bit of consistency around how we've played lately, both home and away, and it's just getting across that line that will be important for us. We just need to make sure we don't limp out to this season. You know, in general, it's been a turbulent time, um, and, and we just got to make sure we're focused on what, what we can control, and that's important for me. We need to be the best version of ourselves now for the next four, hopefully, more games. I, I think I've been very consistent. Um, each game's important to us. Uh, you know, we're trying to build something. We're trying to get better all the time. So each game, like the derbies, are always, derbies are always important, aren't they? And that's why we've got two of them left. We've got a very, very healthy and fit squad. Yeah. Um, so there'll be a couple of attorneys. Um, uh, it's an exciting team. We've trained well together. It's a very mobile team. It's a very quick team. And but also we've got a front up. We know the Ospreys threat to set piece. They've got a very good forwards coach in Rich Kelly, who does a lot of good work. And you can see how strong their mall is. And we've got to match that and, and dominate it. And yeah, we're pretty healthy. He's flying. You know, he's been training. Uh, we had we had a week off, and then we were in last week, and he's trained with the team from last week and this week. And, yeah, he's flying, so hopefully. No, he's not far off, it's whether we decide to play him or not for the benefit of the will at the moment, and they're big games, aren't they? So Joe had two concussions in a short period of time, exactly like Angus, so we've just made the decision for Joe that you know, he plays in a friggin' tough position and we don't know what goes on in the head, so it's important that we just manage Joe correctly and fairly like I'd manage anyone else in my changing room. And, and hopefully Joe's appreciating that, his family's appreciating that, and he's put his body online for us this season. Uh, we've only got six weeks left, hopefully more than that, but you know it's important Joe's no timeline, Joe's ready to go, same as Angus. The only one at the moment um, who's had a deload week is Rio Dyer, he's played an extreme, extreme amount of rugby this season, he's been basically every minute he's available, he's played for us, he's played for Wales four to five games and again he's a young man and we need to manage him, we've got depth in that position, um, but also we've got to do the right thing for Rio and we don't want to break him in what's been a massive season for him. So